This, pro this video will show you how to program a 2000 series town steel lock. Uh, we have the XCE XME 2000 series. The one we have right here is the XCE 2000 grade one cylindrical. This is the programming guide that comes with it. And I'll go through briefly how to change your master code, add a manager code, add a user code, add a service code, and then reset it back to factory mode. The, the unit ships from the factory with a code of 12345. So that's the master code. You always want to change that immediately when you get the lock. Okay, in order to change that, we always hit pound. That'll start the programming mode. Pound, and then the old master code. Okay, 01 signifies we're changing the master code. Number of digits, we're going to keep it at five, you can go four to six, and the new master code one, two, three, four, five, all ones, and then you have to reconfirm that all ones. Okay, so that changes the master code all ones. That'll work. And the old master code no longer works. So with the master code change, we can start adding uh, managers and users. So we're going to add a manager. Um, we're going to use the code for the manager as 22222. All, when we set the number of digits for the master code at five, all the manager and user codes have to be at five digits also. You can change it to four to six, but you have to start with the master code and do it at the beginning. Otherwise, it'll delete all your codes if you change the master code to a different number of units. So we're going to add a manager. So go pound and add your old ma or your master code, all ones. O2 signifies we're going to add a user or a manager. Give it a location, one, zero, and then a man manager code, all twos. And you don't have to reconfirm that. It'll stay in programming mode. We can hit star to stop that, or it'll time out in about eight seconds. Manager codes are in location 00010, 00, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7, 0, 8, 0, 9, 0. And manager codes can control user codes that are in locations. If the manager code is in location 10, it'll control user codes 11 up to 19. Okay. And user codes can be in between all the manager codes from 0 to 100. Um, but it can't be a manager code. So we're going to add a user. So we can use the manager code to add a user. Pound, one, all twos. Add uh, O2 would be the programming. And we're going to have a location. We'll go one, one. And then we'll use uh, threes for the user code. Okay. It stays in programming mode. We'll, we'll, we'll hit star to stop that. So the three is now controlled by manager two and uh, it works. We're going to add a service code. You can use the master code to do that. Pound, all ones. Two one is for a service code and we'll add a code seven, all seven. Okay. You can use two one to program it, two two, two three, two four, two five and then you add your five digit code after that. The service code is a one time user code only, so if we use that, one, two, three, four, five, seven, it'll work. And the next time you try to use it, it will give you an error message. Okay. The lock is now programmed. You can continue adding users and managers, but we're gonna reset it back to factory mode. So in order to set your lock back to factory mode and start all over again, you hit the current manager code, uh, the current master code, pound, one, two, three, four, five, and then you use 99, and then 99 again, and it'll take a few seconds, and then it'll delete the memory and the lock, and it should be back to factory mode, one, two, three, four, five.